Hello everyone. Welcome to this another video of YOLO V6 series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to prepare your data and how to do the annotation. So here we are using YOLO V6. So always we need to keep in, in our mind whenever we are using YOLO model, we need to prepare our data in a YOLO format. So I will be showing you what is the YOLO format. So for that you need a tool called label IMG. Using this label IMG, we will be doing the annotation of our data. I will provide this tool in your resources section. So from that you can download this tool called label IMG. So you don't have to do anything. You just have to click on this label IMG. It will start uh, this UI. So guys, after clicking on this label IMG, you will uh, see this kinds of UI, this kinds, uh, this kinds of user interface. Uh, so now what you need to do, uh, here actually you need to do the annotation of your data. But before starting doing the annotation, I just want to show you the data. Uh, so guys, uh, this is the images okay, I have collected. So it's a sign language detection images. So if I open the images, so you will see some uh, sign language activity I was doing. Okay, So you can uh, collect your own data. Uh, not only this uh, sign language, okay, you can collect any of any of the data, okay, what you want to do, uh, the object detection. So for your case, you can use any data, okay, uh, to do the object detection. But in this uh, course, I will be showing you with this sign language detection, okay. So here you can see an image. So here uh, I am doing like that. That means I am trying to say hello, okay. In sign language, we call it hello. And this activity means I am trying to say please, okay. So that's how actually there are lots of activity. Uh, so, uh, you can see here, okay. So I will uh, provide all the annotation, uh, okay, uh, in this uh, resources section, okay, so that you can uh, use this data and you can at least do the object detection. And here you can see uh, this is the name of this label. Uh, that means I'm trying to say I love you here, and this is please, okay, and this is uh, hello. I already showed you, and this is uh, that means I'm trying to say no, and uh, see that means I'm trying to say uh, yes, okay, and uh, this activity means I'm trying to say thanks okay so now you need to do the annotation uh, because i can understand these images but my machine can't understand okay so to make my machine understand i need to do the annotation so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna open this uh, label mg tool so this is the label mg tool and here actually you need to open directory okay like where you have kept your data so i will click on the open directory i have kept my data inside download so this is my data folder okay i'll just double click on that and i will select the folder so guys, uh, see, uh, it has opened my images, okay, inside this label IMG. So now what I need to do, uh, I need to do the annotation. So I'll be selecting the bounding box and I will select those portion, okay, which I need to uh, understand my model, okay. So th there is an option called create rectangle box, okay. But before that, here you can see it has been selected on uh, Pascal VOC, okay. But you need to change it on YOLO because here we are using YOLO model. So our data should be. Uh, you can say yellow format okay our annotation file should be yellow format that is txt format but if you select this Pascal voc what it what it will do it will save as xml file so that is like coco format okay but here we need yellow okay make sure you are selecting yellow now there is a uh, option called create rectangle box so i'll select that and i will select this portion because i just want to detect this portion okay that means i'm trying to say hello here okay so this is my sign language uh, like detection okay i'm doing i'm doing the annotation so here i will give the level name so that means i'm trying to say hello okay so here i you need to mention hello and you need to press okay okay once it is done then you need to save this images so there is a uh, like save button if you click on the save okay so it will save your images but before that make sure you have uh, selected this one in the view uh, you have selected this auto saving okay if you click on the auto saving so it will actually auto save your images and uh, and you can uh, select your save change directory okay it's like uh, which directory you want to save okay so here i have i'm saving inside my data so here what i will do i will select so here what i will do i will select this folder okay to save my annotation file so select folder it's done now auto uh, auto saving i will do auto saving okay now again i need to save my data so i will just delete that and uh, what i'm what i'm gonna do i'm gonna again select this rectangle box do the annotation give the hello okay and if i save it now if i open my folder uh, see this is the folder and this is the okay annotation i have done so you can see this is the txt file okay so if i show you the txt file here 
so see this is the coordinate points okay of your uh, like annotation okay so what is the coordinate points uh, so this is the coordinate points uh, th uh, this is one of the coordinate this is one of the coordinate and this is coordinate and this is one of the coordinate okay four four coordinate points you have inside uh, object detection because here i'm doing the rectangular uh, annotation okay so this uh, four coordinates you will get and this is the level name okay that means hello it has been labeled with zero okay so this information i need to train my model so like that you need to uh, annotate all the images so what i will do i will just click on the next again i will select the rectangle box do the annotation give this is the hello okay i will select hello and i will do the same okay now if i show my folder you see uh, another file would be created hello.txt okay so like that i will doing all the annotation okay so what are the levels you have see what are the images you have okay how many number of images you have you need to do the annotation so suppose let's take uh, another example okay so this is please okay so what i what i will do i will just select select this portion and level wise i will give please okay here i'm is is keeping some of the images because i just want to show you the process of the annotation but for you you need to uh, annotate all the images okay inside your folder so now i will click i will save okay now if i open my folder so here you will see please is created okay so that's how you need to annotate all of your images okay so once annotation is done what you need to do uh, you need to create a folder like final folder you will be creating this folder actually you will pass to your model okay so here you need to create a image folder inside image folder you will create two folder one is like train and one is like validation okay inside train uh, you will uh, keep some of the images okay for your training and you will uh, keep some of the portion uh, for your validation purpose okay so suppose here i have kept 30 number of images for my validation okay uh, and with respect to that you need to select the level also okay so what are the images you have kept inside the train okay with corresponding you have the label file that means this txt file if i show you uh, inside data to so see after annotation i got some txt file okay so first, this image has this txt file okay so for that you need to select this txt file suppose this image you are copying inside train images okay with corresponding that this label should be inside train folder okay otherwise you cannot select randomly otherwise it will create issue so here if you see inside train folder i have kept some of the images for training and validation i have kept some of the images for valid validation okay inside label inside train i have kept my train txt file okay that means train annotation file what, what are the annotation i have done okay but make sure this file would be same as per your images okay and inside validation i have kept my all the validation txt file okay so once it is done you have to create a yaml file dataset.yaml file let me show you the yaml file yeah so this is the yaml file here actually you need to mention your train data path okay so this is my train data path uh, under images so see here i have written slash image slash train and slash image slash validation okay i have given my image path and here you need to uh like uh, make it false because here you are not using coco data set okay yeah we are using yolo format data set that's why you have to uh like uh, give false uh, uh, to this uh, parameter called is underscore coco okay and you need to define your number of classes okay so if you see my data there are uh six number okay six number classes like hello yes no please uh i love you and uh this one okay if you see there are six classes you will get what are the six classes you have so see this is the six classes hello i love you no please thanks and yes it's okay so these six classes i have uh, but whenever you are selecting your own data okay just check how many number of classes you have with corresponding that you need to write right here okay inside the name and here you need to mention your number of classes like i have six number of classes that's why i have mentioned six here okay so once it is done you are ready to go okay uh, your data is ready if i show you your data is ready now you need to make a zip okay you need to make a zip so what i will do i will make a zip here mm. uh, i am using seven zip okay so i will use this one okay so now see i have done the zipping operation i have zipped my data so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna upload this data inside my github so uh, this is my github okay so i will upload inside this repository okay so what you need to do you just need to uh, select your data okay drag and drop your data 
inside your github okay so i have already uploaded this data so i'm not going to upload so what i will do i will quickly show you okay so see here i have uploaded my data data underscore uh, yellow v6 dot zip okay now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna click click on that and i will click on this download okay right click on this download and here you will get a uh, copy link address okay and if i show you the link address right now so this is the link of my data now if i hit enter see it will start downloading my data okay see it is starting downloading my data so that's how actually you can prepare your data okay now this link actually i'll be using in my notebook so let me show you uh, yeah so this is my notebook so see here uh, this is my notebook and here i'm using this link okay cc i'm using cal command and cal is downloading the data from this url and i'm saving inside my folder called data set data underscore yellow v5.zip then i'm doing the unzipping operation then i'm re removing this zip file okay so once it is done you are ready to train your model okay so my data has been prepared right now and i think you got it like how to prepare your data and how to do the annotation and what is the folder structure you need to follow okay so in our next video what i'm gonna do uh, i'm going to uh, show you the training process okay uh, using this data set okay so yeah guys uh, this was all about from this video i think uh, you have liked it okay so thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time